How are you my friends? Good morning. It's not very morning, but close enough. How are you today? It's Saturday and I'm working. I hate this shit. I hate it. But I have to put some ropes. I have about three or four hours to put some ropes because um, Monday or tomorrow or the, the, the day after tomorrow or I don't know we will start a new job and um, I will not be here so my teammates they have to work alone don't trust them but what can I do so I will show you, you real fast what I'm about to do then we will talk about trust very important and very fragile subject so because you will work with me today okay don't leave me alone here I will get bored oh shit okay so let's see as you can see I just put this we have to go down from here and paint this shit this piece of shit of building so i have to make put some rows ropes over there with some cables pass through here through here through there to everywhere put some ropes over there i have to rig all this building we have to paint there there until the end of this wall so there is two five floors it's not very big deal so let's get started and don't leave because today you're working with me okay or i can do another thing i can stay right here in this spot and you guys put the cables put the ropes and i laugh at you I'm joking, maybe not. Okay, you stay here and I will put the ropes, okay? Because I'm better with the ropes. Today we'll talk about trust. Trust between people. You saw on Facebook, on the internet, that you, the trust you gain very difficult and you have to be and you lose it so fast because people are i don't believe that you know the trust the trust it's like you feel that you know the first second that you see somebody you feel that okay now i have to climb over there and put this cable and this this is uh, some kind of cement i hope it won't break so he was young you know and uh, as you know when I come back from the army I want to fuck some bitches normally as usual I hope I don't die here so I go to a club I meet a nice girl with big ass nice big ass and i conquer her with my charm because as you know i am gorgeous i am beautiful and handsome and i hope i don't fucking die today in this fucking roof so okay this is not funny so as i conquer her you know as I talked to her, I like her very much. That girl became my wife. But after two weeks, I was like, you know, I want to impress her. Of course, that big, nice, nice nasty ass. What do you want me to do? So I asked her, look, I want to go on a hike so if you like 
to come with me I don't mind because you know normally I go alone but I will pretty much like to come with me if you want to if you like to it's not very important but if you have nothing else to do she had 18 years I was like 22 23 something like this so she said to me if my mother and father will let me I will gladly come with you and I say hmm, don't worry I will come and I will talk to your folks so I go and talk to her mother and her father you know like sir look I want to go on a hike with a couple of friends of mine we are very serious people you know I am very serious people I am like like a gentleman I will never touch your daughter like never in my entire life I will never do anything that will you know I am the nicest the and he was like how many days <sighs> two days like one day and a half we go on the mountain we hike a little bit and then we go home nothing fancy if you like to let her with me because you know I'm very nice guy I am you know so he was like okay but I warned you take very good care of her because this is my only daughter and you are you seem like a nice guy and I don't want to kill you I was like Sin mister mister please look at my face I am very very like really nice guy he was like okay go so I take the man's daughter and I go I tell her that look we will go on the mountain okay hiking okay so you don't have to worry about nothing okay I have backpacks I have everything I need only your presence you know because you are so beautiful and so nice and she was like okay 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 so <coughs> I will come and pick you at your house at two o'clock and she was like okay I call a cab put my backpacks backpacks in the cab and I go to take her no normal easy way you know so she comes down from her house in in some kind of shoes with high heel with this and with a skirt with something nice with a makeup with everything and I was having a backpack of of one of them has like 40 kilos and one of them for her 20 kilos and she was like high heels like okay let's go we go hiking I was like what the fuck is the matter with you woman what is this what is this high heel what is this where do you think you go I will go on a hike I will I'm mad I, I will I say okay okay let's go to a store and buy you some nice shoes for hiking some boots or some shit like this and she was like okay you don't like my shoes you evil bitch so we go to a store I buy her a real nice shoes some clothes some stuff some I don't know some things like this okay so we go to the train station okay to take the train because we have about 200 kilometer 200 kilometers to reach to the mountain so 
my girlfriend, my beautiful, big ass, nasty ass girlfriend, was like, did you buy the ticket? And I was like, of course, honey bunny. So, we go up on a train. Okay, here comes the guy with the tickets. Now, guys, you have to know something about me. You know, I'm not crazy, but I have big balls. So, normally, when I travel with a train, you know, I don't buy any ticket. Why? Because I don't need to. You know, because the ticket it's expensive. So, normally, I use my poesy, my, my knowledge, and I say like, Look, sir, please, you know, I don't have any money, I don't have where, I don't have where to live, I don't have nothing to eat, you know, I'm a, con I'm a student, and you know that we students don't have any fucking money, please, sir, can you please forgive me and let me drive, you know, like, like, when you don't have money and you go in a train this is very easy for me okay so i have this beautiful nice big ass girl with me now and this guy asked for my ticket okay so i start look sir you know we don't have any money you don't have tickets you motherfucker you don't have tickets where the fuck do you want to go if you don't have tickets? You stupid ass. Sir, please. I am begging you, you know. We don't have money. We don't have nothing to eat. We are poor. Now, my girl start crying, you know. But crying like hell. Like, imagine like all his family has recently died. And died in pain. She was like fucking crying with tears not tears not drop tears not dropping from my eye you know like like you know what i mean with big big heavy tears and this guy was like okay you stupid motherfuckers you students you you cocksuckers you okay i leave you but i tell you from now on buy ticket on the train because this train don't belong to your mother okay i'm sorry sir you know i always buy buy ticket but today and i have to go because it's an emergency don't shut the fuck up sit down here and don't move thank you sir thank you thank you you are most precious you are i love you very much sir you are you are you are good heart shut the fuck up bitch so this guy go and my girlfriend, actually, my actually wife, okay, don't stop crying. I thought that he plays a role, a part, you know, like crying to not go to jail. But she was crying like for real, you know. Anyway, after he cooled down, she cools down. She was like, fuck you and your big ass, why did you do this to me, you motherfucker, you ugly piece of shit, why did you do this for me, why, you evil bitch, why, I said, woman, listen to me, this is how we do it, you know, because we are very smart and we don't have money to spend on these bullshit tickets, you know what I mean? Just shut the fuck up and you listen to me. No, you don't have to do this to me, no. Please never do this to me. I was, okay, okay, okay. I will never do this to you. Okay, so imagine we go down from the train, okay? We reach the destination, we, we go down and we go on hiking. 
Now, as we pass through the village, through the, the last village, I buy some bread. Because, another advice, don't buy food when you are hungry. Okay, so I buy about 5 or 10 kilos of, of bread, like 20 kilos of bread, like many bread, you know, much bread, like, like very big, nasty bread. So, we start hiking, okay? Imagine, now my backpack have 50 kilos, hers 20, and after 200 meters, she was dead. You know what I mean? She was like dead meat. Like she could not move her legs. So I say, don't worry, honey, dear, beautiful rose that you are, I will carry you, I will carry your ass. Don't worry about this, everything is okay. No, I don't want to die here. You will not die here, trust me. I was like 23, 24, 23 years old, you know, full of muscles. Like, like, full of muscles. Muscles everywhere. Muscles on the balls. Muscles on the dick. Muscles in my ass. Everywhere you look, muscles. So now, with my backpack, in my back, with her backpack in the front of my body, and with that big nasty ass hanging now on me. I was like dead. After about two or three kilometers, you know, I say, let's stop for a little bit to drink some water, some water because I am dead. I search in my backpack, in her backpack, in every backpack that we find no drop of goddamn motherfucking water, no drop. I was like dead. And here comes a hiker who go down, imagine me, imagine that. I ask him, sir, sir, please, please have some mercy, can you have? a little bit of water for my girl here and he was like no i don't have water but i have chocolate fuck you and your chocolate you big piece of shit don't have water don't tell me you have chocolate okay go till i kill you you motherfucker so i am here on the mountain oh shit with that beautiful bs tire as hell with no water. So, now I put myself into survival mode, like beast mode, okay? I take some dirt and I, like this, like, and I make some drops of water. Okay, don't worry, we hike. We go up, we put our tent, we sleep tonight, there was a rest, a restaurant, we buy some water, everything was good, everything was fine. Now, I want to conquer her. Why? Because damn, that was a nice ass. So, I started talking to her, you know, like, Hi, how are you? How do you feel? Do you like the view? Look at the view. The view is so beautiful, look at the view, oh yeah, and these butterflies everywhere and flowers. Tell me something about you because you know I want to know you better, you know. And she was like, nah, nah nothing important for me, and, but you know I have some family in the town very far away from here, like, like 12 hours with the train and you know i didn't see them from a long time i have my family at home i have them i was like yeah sure look what i am going to do for you because i am tough and i am big and i have muscle in my ass okay 
I will take you to see your family that you didn't see from a long time. I know my voice right now sounds sounds like Rambo, but I was like a little Rambo back then. You know, because I very I was very young. So we go down from the mountain and of course when we go down from the mountain hiking we talk some more like what do you like because i like to to know you better you know know you better you know and i like very much the sea okay now you tell me we are at the mountain and you like the sea very nice very nice guy very nice so i say don't worry we're going to see your family that you didn't see for a long time with the train and she was like beach buy ticket okay if you are poor like my ass and you don't have money we don't go anywhere but we will not go without ticket and i was like don't worry honey i will buy five tickets you know don't worry imagine that guys a train that makes 12 14 hours it's very like really very expensive who the fuck buys ticket not me so this is true story guys i'm not lying i'm not bullshit shitting you this is true story so we go on the train here comes the guy show me your ticket I was like sir please again like a bitch crying sir you know we have no food we have no home we have no shelter we are poor as hell please sir have mercy my woman start crying again you did this to me again you motherfucker you scumbag you garbage why again why now this time the conductor or how do you call this with the ticket said to us i know your type you bitches and he throw us out from the train okay and he throw us up from here and i go up on the train from here you know near to next station here comes again what the fuck are you doing here you bitches i hate students i hate because my son doesn't didn't take the he's not a student because of you you bitches you sir please my woman crying as hell please sir have mercy we are stupid we have no harm no water no food no nothing can you give us some money this guy was like crazy hell get out get out i don't want to see your asses again and he throws out from the train again okay so we go down from here we go up from over there so we reach to her family okay with the train about 14 hours of of traveling with the train go down from here go up from over there go down from here go up from over there <coughs> and now we are here let me remind you that i talked to her father for two days okay tops so we spent two days on the mountain one day on the train and here we are here so as we reach to her family from her mother's side you know close to russia we hang out from there about a week okay because you know she doesn't see his family and she misses them and blah 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 okay nothing interesting so now as we are close to russia 
and the litera, the the sea, it's close. I say to her, look, honey, because I am tough and I am like like godfather, like like very strong guy. I will take you to the sea. Let's swim together naked into the sea. She was like, fuck you and your sea. Look, honey, don't you trust me? You don't trust me? Why you want to make me cry? Let's go to the sea. And we travel like two hours with the train again without tickets. We reach the sea. Okay. So we put the tent over there. We pay for the for the, the tent to put it in some I don't know. Okay. Nothing very important. So we are there eating, smoking, you know. My beautiful girl doesn't saw the sea like in 20 years, in 30 years. He has, she has like 18 years and she doesn't know how to so she is now relaxing on the sun and she is relaxing on the sun and she is relaxing on the sun more relaxing on the sun and she relaxes more on the sun and of course she again relaxes more on the sun all day three days and she burn out she was like i don't know if you can if you saw some movie with vampire like well woof, catching flames she was like like not red no no the skin came out from the flesh you know from the face the skin was like her face was like meat did you see when you cook some some pork belly on the on the grill and you she was like her face was like that pork belly on the grill i was like what the fuck is the matter with you you ugly this x-men factor you x-men files ugly big ass go home so we decide to go home i have to remind you that two week has passed two weeks and two or three days almost three weeks okay so now we're going home and she was like bitch buy ticket now i will go right now and i will buy that two goddamn piece of shit tickets right now i want to see you when you buy some tickets i will show you that i will buy that tickets okay so of course i didn't buy any tickets what i'm stupid or what okay we go on a train and we go home okay now on this train a group of teenagers you know smoking weed and stuff like this i don't smoke weed but i smoke tobacco you know like like you make your cigarettes with your hands and you smoke a cigarette okay not weed not everything no drugs okay i'm drug free i'm only alcohol so this group of guys when they saw me with a bag of of uh, tobacco or how do you call this they thought that i have weed you know and they were like oh shit dude you have so many weed with you can we smoke some back then i didn't know what weed means i thought that weed means tobacco you know so i said of course now i have to remind you that this wasn't normally like tobacco like normal no 
was growth by her grandfather you know and she was and this was like big tobacco big shit smelly like like horse ass smelly tobacco like like you know like something gross like imagine the smell when when you eat all day mexican portugal spanish and indian food and then you go to make some some shit you know that's how this tobacco smells so these guys oh you have weed can we smoke with you please because we don't have money i don't have money also i said oh you are one of us you are my brother you are come on let's smoke some weed i say okay smoke weed so they make one cigarette for you one for you one for you when they smoke that big piece of shit cigarettes all the people in the train was like that's it this is the end of the world this smell like zombie you know what i mean guys almost almost they throw us out from the train okay don't worry we get home now i say to her look honey honey bunny my love my beautiful and big nasty ass okay let's go home but uh, i think i will have a problem with your father because you know you look really impressive ugly your face it's fucked up and you are fucked up all okay so let's talk with him nice and slowly and when we reach there to her door i knock knock i was like oh yeah i will talk to him nicely because i'm a people guy you know i talk very nice to the people especially with the grown-ups i am very strong this girl is very beautiful that as it's nasty so don't worry okay when her father opens the door my beautiful girl that now it's ugly girl you know said to me bitch run you know nothing more nothing less she looks at her right in my face and she tell me bitch run and that's it so now why did i tell you all this this is funny now you know as you listen to this stupid story this sounds funny but it's not you know because there we suffer but she suffers because she trusted me and she didn't have the time to build that trust you know she trusted me now she's my wife and i have one beautiful son with her that mean you don't have to build trust my friends no you have to only have trust it's pretty enough you know what i mean the problem now is that what happens if you lost if you lose that trust and there is a problem you know you cannot build it anymore you know guys now this is all for today thank you for joining me to work i do appreciate that don't forget to subscribe share and whatever you want to do okay and i will see you next time guys now i have one hour left more and i will go home to my beautiful road goodbye my my friend